we are discussing next inhalator anesthetic called desflurane. But before we will go to the main lecture, let introduce some historical part. Like between 1959 and 1966, uh, Terrell and his associates at Ohio Medical Products synthesized more than 700 compounds trying to produce improved an inhalational anesthetic agent at that time. Two of these products were the halogenated methylene ethers, like isoflurane and enflurane, which became widely used at that time. One of these products, especially 60, 653rd, was difficult to synthesize because of a potentially explosive step using elemental uh, fluorine, and it had a vapor pressure closer to one atmosphere one atmosphere however because it was predicted to move uh, to have a low uh, solubility in blood and hence would a low rapid recovery it was reexamined with heightened interest this product became known as desflurane its structure differed from that of isoflurane only in um, the substitution of fluorine to chlorine. Okay, so let's discuss physical properties of this drug. It is a colorless agent which is stored in amber colored bottles without preservatives. It is not broken down by soda lime in, uh, from the anesthetic machine, lights or metals. It is non-flammable. This fluorine has a boiling point of 22.5. So at this uh, temperature, it can start boiling. A vapor and a vapor pressure of uh, 88.5 kilopascals at 20 grades of Celsius. And therefore, it cannot be used in a standard uh, vaporizer. It uh, can be used uh, in a special vaporizer called Tech 6 that uh, has been developed where we, which requires a source of electric power for heating and uh, pressurizing it. The minimum alveolar concentration of uh, the desflurane is approximately 6% in oxygen and 3% in 60% nitrous oxide. As with all volatile agents, minimal alveolar concentration in, uh, is higher in children uh, compared to adults, and it is around 9 to 10 percent in, in neonate, especially. How about uptake and distribution of the drug? This foreign has a blood gas partition coefficient 0.42. Almost the same as uh, that of nitrous oxide. Uh, induction of anesthesia is therefore extremely rapid uh, in theory, but limited somewhat by its pungent nature. So pungent means irritant to the airway. So, however, in, it is possible to alter the depth of anesthetic uh, of anesthetic very rapidly in the rate of recovery. Of anesthesia is faster than that following any other volatile agents. Okay, how about metabolism? Oh, there is very little defluorination of desflurane, and after prolonged anesthesia, there is only a very small increase in serum and urine uh, trifluoroacetic uh, acid concentrations. Approximately 0.02% uh, of inhaled desflurane is so uh, small quantity of the drug is metabolized in the body and it is excreted through the urine. It is not significant at, at, at all. Respiratory system, desflurane causes respiratory depression to a degree similar to that of desflurane up to a make of uh, minimum alveolar concentration 1.5. It increases uh, partial pressure of <clears throat> carbon dioxide and decreases the ventilatory response to impose 
imposed increases in um, uh, carbon dioxide pressure. It is irritant to the upper respiratory tract and <clears throat> particular at concentrations more than 6%. It is therefore not recommended for gaseous induction. For maintenance of anesthesia, it is good, but not for induction. And it can also uh, cause uh, coughing, breath holding, and possible laryngospasm, which is undesired for any of the anesthesiologists. Cardiovascular system main effects, main actions are thus, uh, which are similar to isoflurane. Those related decrease in uh, systemic vascular resistance, decreasing uh, myocardial contractility and mean arterial pressure. Heart rate is unchanged at lower steady state concentration, but increases uh, with higher concentrations. Central nervous system side effects. The effects of desflurane are similar to those of isoflurane. It depresses the electro uh, encephalographic uh, the electroencephalography in those related manner. So does not cause seizure activity and uh, desflurane decreases cerebral vascular resistance and increased intracranial pressure which is not desired. Also may trigger uh, malignant hyperthermia or practically all of the inhalatory anesthetic can trigger malignant hyperthermia to take in mind. So muscle skeletal system, desflurane causes uh, muscle relaxation and of course potentiates uh, uh, the effect of neuromuscular blocking agents. Concentration uh, exceeding one mach or one uh, minimum alveolar concentration produce fade in response to tetanic stimulation of the ulnar nerve, for example. And less one, advantages and disadvantages. Therefore, in summary, this foreign offers some advantages over other agents. So it have it has a low, sol low blood solubility, therefore it offers more precise control in maintenance of anesthesia and rapid recovery. It is minimally biodegradable and therefore is not, is not toxic for liver, kidney or other organ organs that uh, metabolize, should metabolize drugs. It does not cause uh, convulsive activity on electroencephalograph uh, encephalogram, sorry. Uh, however, it has some significant drawbacks. It cannot be used for inhalational induction because of irritant and pungent, pungent uh, smell on the airway. It causes tachycardia at higher concentrations, as you remember. It requires special vaporizer like TEC6 vaporizer. is reasonably, reasonably easy to use. It is more complex than uh, the more conventional vaporizers and the potential for failure may be higher. And it is expensive. It is expensive. Thank you for your watching. Enjoy your time and study hard, guys.